Hello and welcome to this brief clip in which we will give an overview of the evaluation procedure of the FWO PhD fellowships. This procedure applies to both the fundamental and strategic basic research programs. First, we will discuss the different steps of the evaluation process in general. Then we will discuss the tasks that you as a panel member need to perform in order to complete the evaluation. The procedure consists of two main phases. The first phase consists of a written procedure followed by an online panel meeting in which a pre-selection is made. Then we invite the candidates who were retained in the pre-selection for the second phase, namely the interview. In the first phase, the scientific chair of the panel distributes all applications amongst the members of the panel. All applications to be reviewed at this stage meet the formal admissibility requirements. For each application, the chair designates three panel members who will serve as internal reviewers. Panel members are expected to be generalists and in this sense able to make a global assessment of all applications assigned to them. Using the pre-selection scoring grid, all internal reviewers will assess the different evaluation criteria and issue a numerical score in line with the descriptors in the scoring grid. Here at FWO, we will average the different scores of the three internal reviewers, as these will be the starting point for the next step, which is the pre-selection meeting. The next step in the process involves selecting a subset of the candidates to be interviewed. Before the panel convenes, the FWO provides an overview of all the scores given by the reviewers and their average. A preliminary ranking of the candidates in the panel based on the average scores is also provided. This information forms the basis for the discussion during the pre-selection meeting. During an online meeting, the candidates are discussed one by one and a final selection is made of the candidates who will proceed to the next step of the evaluation process. During this meeting, the panel may adjust the scores they give to a candidate based on scientific arguments. The maximum number of candidates the panel may invite to the interview is twice the number of fellowships available to the panel. As a result of the pre-selection meeting, a number of candidates are rejected. Their applications are not further considered in the evaluation process. One of the reviewers of these applications is assigned to complete the feedback report for these candidates after the pre-selection meeting. Now we arrive at the second phase of the selection process, which is the interview. The FWO invites the candidates selected in step one to a face-to-face -face meeting with the panel in Brussels. During this meeting, the focus is mainly on the qualities of the researcher, including the extent to which they master the project and have an appropriate scientific attitude. Each interviewee receives a new score for the candidate criterion and, where necessary, project scores are also adjusted. This leads to a final ranking of candidates which, candidates which determines who is funded and who is not. In most panels, half of the interviewed candidates are selected to receive a fellowship. After the panel meeting, feedback reports for all candidates are compiled by one of the reviewers, who should include all relevant remarks made by the reviewers in their reports and by other panel members in the panel meeting. In the feedback report, the, the panel's final decision should be reflected. Comments on the interview should certainly be included in these feedback reports as well. We will now briefly discuss all the concrete actions you need to take as a panel member. These actions are grouped in three phases. The first phase is preparation. The second phase relates to pre-selection and the steps leading up to it. And the third phase to the selection interviews. During the first phase, it is important that you access the FWO ePortal. The FWO shares all applications and evaluations through this online platform. You will also submit all reviews you write through this platform. There is a separate instruction video available on how to navigate the ePortal should this be helpful to you. A first formal step in the evaluation procedure consists of the FWO inviting you to indicate for each application submitted to your panel whether you have a conflict of interest. 
At the same time, you will be able to indicate how closely your expertise aligns with each application in order to facilitate the distribution of applications amongst the panel members. There is a separate instruction video on submitting the conflict of interest and confidence rate information. The distribution of applications is done by the scientific chair, who is supported by the FWO. For each application, three internal reviewers are appointed at this stage. You will, of course, be informed about the applications assigned to you as internal reviewer. We will also indicate for which applications you will be responsible for the feedback. Please be aware and mindful of the deadlines that apply to the internal review reports. The second phase consists of the pre-selection and the preparation of this important meeting. This phase begins with panel members writing an internal review report, all internal review reports assigned to them. You make an independent assessment of the application using the provided scoring grid. For each application, three panel members write an internal review. This step is followed by step four, in which all reviews are shared with all panel members. In the days leading up to the online pre-selection meeting, the panel receives an overview of all of the individual reviewer scores and is requested to prepare the online pre-selection meeting. You will receive an overview of the preliminary ranking of the candidates based on the average reviewer scores and a brief analysis of these scores. This will allow you to prepare the online pre-selection meeting in detail and to identify any areas of concern. During step five, the pre-selection meeting itself, the panel has the opportunity to determine a panel score for each application, taking the individual reviews into account. On the basis of the panel score, a new ranking reflecting the relative comparative quality of the proposals is made. During this step, the panel decides which candidates will be retained for the interview. After step five, feedback reports will be written for all candidates who are not selected for interview. This is done by the panel member who was assigned this task at the beginning of the review process. These feedback reports should reflect the panel's consensus decision made during the pre-selection meeting and should align with the final scores given by the panel. The feedback reports should be written on behalf of the full panel and should include all relevant comments from the individual reviews as well as remarked, remarks made during the panel meeting. The third phase consists of interviewing the applicants who made it through the pre-selection. In step 7, panel members should prepare the interview meeting by formulating questions they will ask the candidates during the interview. The three internal reviewers are expected to prepare some questions, but other panel members are strongly encouraged to intervene in the questions as well. The interview questions should cover all evaluation criteria, namely the candidate as well as the project. In this preparation, it is useful to consent the to consult the interview scoring grid and, based on this, formulate specific questions to assess, for example, the candidate's competencies, the groundbreaking nature of the research and its methodology. During step eight, the panel convenes in Brussels and interviews the candidates. The panel issues a new score for the criterion candidate and can also adjust the project score when duly motivated. A final selection of candidates who receive the fellowship is now made. After the interview meeting, each candidate receives feedback. To this end, in step 9, the panel member who is responsible for the feedback should amend the feedback with findings from the interview. This feedback report should be submitted one week after the interview meeting via the ePortal. And this then concludes the evaluation of the PhD fellows. This concludes the video on the evaluation procedure for the FWO PhD Fellows. Should you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to contact your account administrator. Thank you for your attention and for now, goodbye.